Hello everyone, welcome back to our lesson. How are you feeling today? I hope you are feeling fantastic and I hope you also had a good holiday. Okay, so today we are going to enter uh, the new chapter which is module 8. And for today's lesson, it's going to be on module 8A, reading skill. Okay, you can go to page 112 and 113 of your textbook. Our learning objective for today is going to be about reading skill 3.1.3 where you need to guess the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues provided by other words and by context on a wide range of familiar topics by first, filling in seven gaps in a paragraph and second, matching six words with their meanings correctly. So let's head into our lesson. Okay, before we start, let's discuss these two questions first. The first one, are you influenced by the way celebrities look? Am I influenced by the way celebrities look? Somehow, yes, because celebrities are often prettier than us, the commoners. <laughs> probably, you know, there's probably a reason behind it, but we'll see. And then, would you change anything about yourself to look like a celebrity? Well, I would not, personally, because uh, we still need to love ourselves for us, right? But, I don't know about you, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, okay? Alright now, let's move on to task B. Can you guess what photo manipulation is? Hmm, what, is what is photo manipulation? Hmm. So read the text quickly without paying attention to the missing sentences and check your answers. Okay. Before we start reading this passage, okay, let's look at the title. Don't believe anything you see. Jangan percaya semua yang kamu nampak. Hmm, kenapa dia cakap macam tu? Why does the title say that? And look at the pictures here. So this is, if you've used Photoshop before, you know that this is a photoshop toolbar okay and this is a picture of of a girl right and and then it's being changed the, the face is changing you know so we can assume that this picture is is already manipulated uh, so basically this photo this is the original one and it edit and it has been edited into this photo, okay, by using this software, Photoshop software. Okay, now let's read the passage together with the audio, all right? Ready? In three, two, one, go. B. Can you guess what photo manipulation is? Read the text quickly without paying attention to the missing sentences and check your answers. Don't believe everything you see. It is well known that most photographs of models and celebrities are an unrealistic portrayal of beauty. This is because many of the images have been edited using digital manipulation. Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has even entered dictionaries as a verb. The pressure to conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. You may think that the manipulation of photographs all began with the development of computer software, but photo manipulation is almost as old as photography itself. What you are actually seeing is a photo of the politician John Calhoun with the president's head stuck on it. These early photos were usually changed using ink, paint and airbrushes. But when photo editing software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. Recent developments have even made it possible to digitally edit moving pictures, making actors in a scene thinner, taller, fatter or smaller. Obviously, making people look slimmer by 10 kilos or making their eyes bigger to improve their looks 
is bending the truth too much. But how about changing the background to suit the colour of a dress? Or changing the colour of a model's eyes or hair? Is this acceptable? What about making a model's skin slightly smoother? The point is that everyone has their own opinion about when photo manipulation gets out of hand. It is important to understand the effect photo manipulation has on people, especially young people. It's harmless enough when girls have their hair cut like a famous actress, but having plastic surgery to change the shape of their nose or to make their lips bigger is more serious. The results are permanent and health risks are high. In some countries, a shocking 50% of girls from 16 to 21 have considered having plastic surgery to become better looking. However, these girls don't realise that they want to look like someone that isn't actually real. Some celebrities have started to rebel against photoshopping and have posted pictures of themselves on the internet so that people can see how much digital manipulation of photography is happening in the media. In the UK, the British Girl Guide Association has asked for all photoshopped images to be clearly labelled. Perhaps this way they will realise how fake the media's idea of beauty and perfection is and appreciate more genuine qualities in themselves. Okay, as usual, if you need to reread the passage, okay, you can pause this video and rewind and reread the passage again. Okay, but if you are ready, we can head to the next uh, task. Okay, okay, task C, read the text again. Complete the gaps 1 to 6 with the sentences A to G below. There is one extra sentence which you do not need to use. Okay. So basically, six of these sentences will be used to fill in the blanks in the passage. Okay, there are six blanks in the passage and one, only one of these sentences will not be used in the passage. Okay, which one is it? Let's do this together. Let's read the sentences first. A. Take the famous portrait of Abraham Lincoln standing at a desk from the 1980s, for example. B. Nowadays, it's very rare to find a photo in a magazine that hasn't been photoshopped in some way. C. They are strongly influenced by the images presented to them in the media, and they enjoy copying a celebrity's look. D. History has shown us that photo manipulation works best on celebrities. E. This would allow people to get a clearer picture of what's real and what's not. F. Most people disapprove, disapprove maksudnya tak setuju, tak approve lah, of photo manipulation because they feel that a photograph should represent reality. G. However, it's important to be aware of the effects these images can have. Now let's go back to the first paragraph. Let's scan this first, okay? It is well known that most photographs are models of models and celebrities are an unrealistic portrayal of beauty. Portrayal... The Portrayal here means a uh, uh, representation, okay? It's a represent representation of beauty. This is because many of the images have been edited using digital manipulation, using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has been entered. Dictionaries as a verb, okay? Photoshop is actually uh, an official word, okay, in the dictionary now. Coming from an application, a software. The pressure to conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. So conform here is not the same as confirm. Conform here is like uh, comply, agree, uh, follow, okay? So it's not the same as confirm. Confirm means like uh, you are sure of something, okay? Something that is uh, true. But conform here is like agreeing to something, okay? Conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. Okay, so what do you think should be here? What sentence? Okay, let's look at this. Which sentence should be in that blank in the first paragraph? Let's, let's try one by one. Okay. 
Take the famous portrait of Abraham Lincoln standing at a desk from, nine, from the 1860s, for example. The pressure to conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people psychology negatively. So those two sentences does not connect, right? Macam tak ada link. There's no link between them. So uh, I don't think the first one is the right sentence for, for this blank. Let's look at the next sentence. Nowadays, it's very rare to find a photo in magazine that hasn't been photoshopped in some way. Same like the first one. Okay, this sentence does not link the sentences here and this. Okay, it doesn't link these two sentences together. So I don't think this it is the second one. Look at the first sentence. The first sentence. The first sentence is talking about the word Photoshop is now considered as an official word. And then the second one is talking about how the Photoshop or photo, mani photo manipulation okay, and what the media shows to be beautiful, giving effect on people's psychology. So probably this thing, this, uh, this blank is talking about the effect of Photoshop. Okay, what about C? They are strongly influenced by the images presented to them in the media and they enjoy copying celebrities look they. So but what gives it what gives this off is the word they. Okay, so uh, in that okay, in these two sentences, okay, dia tak ada refer to any pronouns kan, tak ada refer to any subject, any person, any group of people. So that is what gives this sentence off. Okay, what about the next one? D. History has shown us that photo manipulation works best on celebrities. Mm, tak ada cakap pasal effect, tak ada cakap pasal the word Photoshop being a verb now in the dictionary. And then E, this would allow people to get a clearer picture of what's real and what's not. Apa benda? Tak, tak ada kaitan kan? What? Tiba-tiba dia cakap, would allow people to get a clearer picture of what's real and what's not. Tak ada kaitan dengan those two sentences yang um, dekat paragraph 1. F. Most people disapprove of photo manipulation because they feel that a photograph should represent reality. Pun tak juga sebab macam tiba-tiba. <laughs> and then, okay, however, it is important to be aware of the effects these images can have. See this word, effects. Kan? Ada kaitan tak dengan two sentences? Okay, let's try to put this sentence in between those two sentences in the first paragraph. Okay, we start from here, the first sentence. Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has even entered dictionaries as a verb. However, it is important to be aware of the effects these images can have. The pressure to conform to, the, to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. Nampak tak dia cakap tentang effect? Sentence G is talking about effect and this one is also talking about effect. Alright. Influences people's psychology. Affecting people's psychology negatively. So, the answer for here is G. Yes. Let's cross this one out. Okay. Let's read this sentence in the second paragraph. Okay. You may think that the manipulation of photographs all began with the development of computer software, but photo, manipula <laughs> photo manipulation is almost as old as photography itself. Okay, kiranya dia cakap photo manipulation ni, edit-edit gambar ni, semuanya dah lama dah. Daripada zaman-zaman dulu, black and white lagi dah, dah wujud dah. And then there's a blank here. By the next sentence, what you are actually seeing is a photo of the politician John Calhoun with the president's head stuck on it. Okay, so what could be the sentence in here? Okay, so the first sentence is talking about uh, yeah, photo manipulation is already an old stuff. Okay, it's not, a, it's not something new. And then whatever it is here. The next one, what you are actually seeing is a photo of the politician John Calhoun with the president's head stuck on it. Okay, this sentence is referring to a photo, kan? What you are actually seeing is a photo, photo of the politician John Calhoun. 
with the president said, okay, what photo does it is it talking about? Is it this photo? Oh, this photo ke? Ini muka presiden ke? Is this, is, does this what does this look like John? I don't think so. So, kita dah ada clue dekat situ. There's our clue. Okay, this sentence, sentence number two, is probably talking about a photo. Right. Now, let's find the sentence. Okay. Let's start from the first one. Take the famous portrait of Abraham Lincoln standing at a desk. Okay. This could be it, right? Because famous portrait. Okay, famous portrait here. Maksudnya macam gambar lah kan? It's, it's a picture. Portrait. Kan? Okay. Okay, KIV first. Kita tengok lagi. Ada tak cakap pasal foto kat sini? Nowadays, it is very rare to find a photo in a magazine that hasn't been photoshopped in some way. Okay. This one is talking about photo as well. But photo in a magazine. Uh, ada ada orang tak dekat dalam foto tu? Dia cakap pasal orang tak? Uh, ada nama orang? Tak ada. There's no... There's no uh, name of a person in this sentence. So, mungkin, bukan, mungkin, ya. Okay, KIV first. Right. See, they are strongly influenced by images presented to them. They, tak, 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 dia tak. Dia tak cakap pasal one person, dia cakap pasal they. So, this, this is what it gives it off. The history has shown us that photo manipulation works best on services. No. Hmm. Tak, tak ada Should present reality. Okay, let's take this. Okay, let's sandwich this together with these two sentences. Okay, let's sandwich this together. You may think that the manipulation of photographs, blah, 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 but photo manipulation is almost as old as photography itself. Okay, let's take this one. Take the famous portrait of Abraham Lincoln standing at a desk from the 1980s, for example. What you are actually seeing is a photo of the politician John Calhoun with the president's head stuck on it. Okay, I rasa it's A. But to confirm that, let's read, let's read uh, the rest of the sentences. These early photos were usually changed using ink, paint and airbrushes. But when photo editing software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. Okay, so this sentence is confirming that uh, sentence A is the right sentence to be put in this blank because sentence A is a painting, okay, portrait painting of Abraham Lincoln. Sebab dulu tak ada kamera canggih-canggih, so they will paint, okay. This sentence is what uh, confirming that A is the right sentence for this blank. Sebab dia cakap sini, these early photos were usually changed using ink, paint and airbrushes. Okay, let's highlight those words. So, the early photos this sentence referring to is the photo of Abraham Lincoln in the 1860s. So, the blank number two is going to be for sentence E. Now, what about this blank? Blank number three. Let's read the next sentence. Recent developments have been have even made it possible to digitally edit moving pictures. Moving pictures here means video lah. Making actors in a scene thinner, taller, fatter or smaller. Okay. What, what sentence could fit in this blank? So, this blank is sandwiched between uh, the sentence that is talking about uh, photo manipulation using ink and a new software that was invented okay that makes photo manipulation even more better okay and the next sentence is talking about digitally editing moving pictures or videos okay so this sentence 3 is probably talking about uh, photo or video editing. Okay, probably about the, the software because it the, the previous sentence ended with, you know, but when photo editing software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. Okay, so this sentence must be talking about photo editing software. 
All right. Let's try this sentence. Nowadays, it's very rare to find a photo in a magazine that hasn't been photoshopped in some way. This could be it, but that's... Let's try to read other sentences. They are strongly influenced by the images presented to them. No, it's not talking about people. The history has shown us that photo manipulation works best on celebrities. Mm, this could probably be it. E. This would allow people to get a clearer picture of what's real and what's not. No. F. Most people disapprove of photo manipulation. No. So, we have two options here. Probably B or uh, D. Okay, let's try B first. But when photo editing software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. Nowadays, it's very rare to find a photo in a magazine that hasn't been photoshopped in some way. Recent developments have even made it possible to digitally edit moving pictures, making actors in a scene thinner, taller, or smaller. Okay, what about sentence D? But when photo editing software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. History has shown us that photo manipulation works best on celebrity. Recent developments have even made it possible to digitally editing. Nah, it's not D because this sentence does not link uh, the two sentences together. So, this is it. The answer is B. Okay, it is very rare to find a photo in a magazine that hasn't been photoshopped in some way. Recent developments have even made it possible to digitally edit moving pictures. Okay, so sentence B does connect this sentence and this sentence. Right, so number three, the blank three is going to be filled with sentence B. Right. Okay, we have this one at the beginning of this paragraph. So this could probably sound like an introduction. Okay, we have to look for a sentence that sounds like an intro. Okay, but let's read the next sentence. Obviously, making people look slimmer by 10 kilos or making their eyes bigger to improve their looks is bending the truth too much. It's talking about editing pictures. Okay, unrealistic picture editing. But how about changing the background to suit the color of dresses? Okay, we are only left with these four sentences, okay? So which one sounds more like an intro to you? Let's try one by one. They are strongly influenced. Uh, that the, they, again, they. So this is not an introduction. You only use this pronoun bila you dah introduce this subject. Who are they? Siapa? So no, it's not C. D. History has shown us that photo manipulation works best uh, on celebrities. This could be it. D. A. E. This would allow people to get a clearer picture. Uh, what's that? Okay, this to upper. Same like this. Same like the C. D. Ni. This ni needs to be, it cannot be in, uh, in the beginning of a paragraph because this one needs to be a subject that is referred to the first sentence so this could probably be in the middle of a paragraph okay f most people disapprove of photo manipulation because they feel that a photograph should represent reality okay a photograph should represent reality this sentence is talking about uh, okay the disagreement that a photograph should not be edited because it, it won't look real and it should represent reality Let's connect these two sentences together. Obviously, making people look slimmer by 10 kilos or making their eyes bigger to improve their looks is bending the truth too much. Maksudnya, menipu sangat lah tu kan. Bending the truth too much. So, yes. Sentence F should be the most suitable sentence to be put in this blank. Blank number 4. Alright. Now, let's move on to number 5. It is important to understand the effect photo manipulation has on people especially young people especially young people okay this is the subject now dia dah introduce subject dia siapakah who is the subject being being 
mentioned in this paragraph? Young people. Young people ni plural. So, pronoun yang kita akan pakai in the next sentence, probably they. Alright. So, five. Apakah sentence ni? Next. It's harmless enough when girls, they, okay, young people, girls have their hair cut like a famous actress, but having plastic surgery to change the shape of their nose or to make their lips bigger is more serious. Okay, this is talking about uh, girls or a group of people not accepting their features or, or, or their, you know, their own body and face. So, sentence five me could be about... Um, People not accepting themselves, okay, about uh, insecurity. Okay, let's look at the option. Okay, kita ada ni je. So, I tak payah baca balik banyak kali lah kan. I dah tahu dah. The sentence in blank 5 is C. They are, they, the girls, okay, the young people, are strongly influenced by the images presented to them in the media and they enjoy copying a celebrity's look. Okay, to confirm, let's read this again. It's harmful enough when the girls have their hair cut like a famous actress, okay? Uh, celebrity can influence by celebrity. So, blank 5 is for sentence C. Okay, now let's do the last one. Some celebrities have started to rebel against photoshopping and have posted pictures of themselves on the internet so that people can see how much digital manipulation of photography is happening in the media. In the UK, the British Girl Guide Association has asked for all Photoshop images to be clearly labeled. Uh, let's say, kalau macam gambar yang you tayangkan tu, gambar yang you iklankan tu, uh, has been Photoshop, okay, label uh, appropriately. This photo has been Photoshopped. Okay, this photo has been manipulated, blah, 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 something like that. So that people tahu, itu bukan reality. Itu bukan uh, the actual representation of that, apa, that image. Okay, so it is sentence six is sandwiched between these two. Okay, perhaps this way they will realize how fake the media's idea of beauty and perfection is and appreciation more genuine qualities. Okay, between D and E, which one is the best sentence that would suit that blank? History has shown that manipulation works. Memang tak lah kan? This is not it. This would allow people to get a clearer picture of what's real and what's not. Apa? This two apa? This two is the uh, label, okay, the photo that's been labeled with um, if it has been manipulated. So, number six is E. Alright, so there you go. That is our answer. If you have any question or anything that you do not understand, please do not be shy to ask me. I will try to answer them as best as possible. Okay, now let's do the last task. Task D, match the highlighted words or phrases in the text with their meanings. There are two extra meanings which you do not need to use. Okay, let's read the word one by one. Conform, take off, bend the truth, rebel, appreciate, disapprove. Okay, these are the meanings. A, change something so that it is not exactly true. B, make something illegal. C, recognize somebody's or something's value. D. Think that somebody or something is not good. E. Follow other people's rules or ideas. F. Show, reveal. G. Fight against. H. Become successful suddenly. Okay, let's do number one. Conform. Conform tadi, what did I say? The meaning was, it means... Mm, follow, right? Follow other people's rules or idea, agreeing to a concept. So, this is E. Number one is E. Number two, take off. Okay. Okay, take off is a phrasal verb. Okay, it can mean two things. It can mean either remove ataupun cabut, okay, um, or successful, okay. Okay. Mm. But let's look at the context first. Hmm, this one took off. Okay. In this sentence, what does uh, take off means? Does it mean remove or does it mean successful? Okay. Let's read the sentence. These early photos were usually changed using ink paint and airbrushes. But when photo editing software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. 
for the Malaysian really really uh, gone tak kan it doesn't mean removed but it means successful berjaya so which one sounds like a uh, success Ish, right? Become successful suddenly. Okay, so take off means become successful suddenly. In this context. So, number two is H. Number three, bend the truth. Like I said just now, bend the truth ni macam menipu, kan? Hmm. The same meaning as menipu. So, let's find any words that sounds like lying. But before that, let's cross the ones that we have uh, chose. Make something illegal. Change something so that it is not exactly true. Uh, change something that is so that is so that it is not exactly true. Bend the truth again. Many uh, macam mengubah sesuatu so so that it doesn't. It, it is not true. Okay, so number three, the answer is A. Number four, rebel. Rebel macam in Malay, it means uh, memberontak. So, which definition sounds like, you know, you fighting against something, you, uh, you're you not agreeing with something, then you fight. Which one? Is it legal? No. 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 Show rebel? No. Fight against. Okay, fight against, right? So, rebel means fight against. G. Okay. Number five, appreciate. Appreciate, make something illegal, recognize somebody so something value or think that somebody something is not good. So definitely C. Appreciate means recognize somebody's or something's value. What about disapprove? Tak agree. Can do not agree. Which of these three definitions sounds closer to not agreeing to something? Make something illegal? No. Show or reveal? Definitely no. So I think that it's it is this one. Think that somebody or something is not good. Okay. This is closer to not agreeing to something, right? It's D. Alright. So, there you go. That is our answer. Now, students, I want you to write down this answer. Answer for task C and task D in your E2. Okay. Write down the Instru instruction and then copy the correct answers only. Alright. For task D, you write down the uh, the the word and the definition. For example, the first word conform means follow other people's rules or ideas. Alright. So, there you go. Thank you for your participation and I hope you enjoy today's lesson. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. Take care.